She was kind, loving, caring, gathering, sheltering. And beyond all this, one quality that stands out is that she's a person of integrity. She has a deep sense of spiritual integrity. Who, what I would call a savior type of consciousness. Her aura was very pure. And I invited her, if she could allow me to use her as my medium. Very few people know this. Some of you know, I know. And when she agreed, and I put her into the spirit world, I mean, I was touched that this woman who had not gotten any formal education will receive information from me and be speaking impeccable English. When she had done, she can't speak any of the English she spoke. So she was a very clean transmitter. You know, in mediumship, the light is bright. But depending upon your color, your color can taint the, the, the light that is coming out. So it's like you're having a, a lantern and the light is in the middle. But if the shade of the lantern is red, you're going to get red color. She was very clear. So I could get clear information. And if the information has to come to me in, in English, she will speak impeccable English. It was a great surprise. Went for the first time. We raised a Methodist hymn in English. And Auntie was able to sing the hymns from first stanza to the last stanza, I mean in English. It was a great surprise. And we had a good laugh. And since then, call any Methodist hymn in English. Auntie will sing it with you better than anybody. When Auntie realized that uh, my parents were not be responsible, I mean, their duties, they were not performing very well. Auntie took over and started taking good care of me. She really, she really, really took care of me mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. If it were not Auntie, I wouldn't have come to Ethereum Mission. She brought me to Ethereum Mission, gave me to Brother Ishmael. And that is the best thing which happened to me. Om Namo Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Auntie means so much to me because she always advises me to take the teachings of Ethereum Mission very seriously. She's somebody who really loves Ethereum Mission and takes whatever she does in Ethereum Mission very, very seriously. My auntie is very caring, serviceable and very friendly. You see her with, you always see her smiling anytime she sees a familiar face. Auntie is in mommy. Can't Auntie Jimmy Shadilo. 
this my friend. It's my lovely friend. And she means the word to me. I met Auntie in 1994 when I come back from London to live with Brother Ishmael and Sister John for one year. I was living in Sakaman. And I met Auntie there. And she became my big sister. I always know that Auntie is exactly 10 years older than me. So she's my big sister, and I love her so much. Auntie uh, was a mother in everything to me. She was my big sister. She was uh, older than me 20 years. Ooh. And when I was uh, growing up, my mother told me that during Auntie's uh, this thing, wedding, she was pregnant with me. Yes. And um, when I grew older, she told me that, oh, Auntie should have uh, rather given birth to me. She really, she really, really took care of me mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. If it were not Auntie, I wouldn't have come to Ethereum Mission. She brought me to Ethereum Mission, gave me to Brother Ishmael. And that is the best thing which happened to me. I came to meet Sister Beck at the clinic, dispensary. My relationship with her is her. I assist her in administering helps to the patient. Sister Beck, or Auntie, or my auntie, Auntie Ere, as my children called auntie. We met at a, a fear mission, Dakuman, and we became friends instantly. Auntie took to me and I took to her. Fortunately, she was very close to Brother Ishmael. Brother Ishmael and I got married and and she happened to be part of the of, of her home. She was always there in the house. She was my friend, my sister, my advisor. We can talk from morning to the evening. And I was so comfortable leaving my children with her, especially when we, we, we traveled. Auntie would look, take care of my children, who loved Auntie so much. So we, we lived in the same house. She would come at the weekend and we'll go on Monday or Tuesday. It was all fun. It was a family affair. Uh, my auntie meant a lot to me. Um, she was always kind and caring towards me. My auntie, I was born and then there was my auntie. So mm -hmm. I knew her as my auntie and my mother. And I mean, my childhood memories, most of it was made like with my auntie and as if I remember my childhood. And I remember when she always came home with Dee, I would, we would welcome in. I made up a song, my auntie, my auntie, my auntie, my auntie, my auntie, and then we'll be dancing to it. I mean, my auntie was my childhood and my childhood was my auntie. So I think in, in, initially she was called auntie. But yes. she being so dear to um, us. us, we actually added a my, my to it, it to make it sound more personal. Special. So she was the auntie, but she was the my auntie. My auntie, as we affectionately call her, 
was a nurturing and a compassionate mother to me. In the early 80s, 1980, 79 or 1980, yes, as a patient, and um, she was very dear to my landlord at the time we were staying in Dakuma, Daddy Crab. She and Daddy Crab were very close friends. They were attending church together. She and Daddy Crab actually convinced Greater Wealth. Greater Wealth is a church that has a building in Daddy Crab's house in Dakuma. So she and Daddy Crab spoke to them that for them to allow us to start our church services there or to have church services there. Before Dakuma, we were just doing monthly convocations when I was in Roman Ridge. So she was very topical in my life. Being a very close friend to Daddy Crab, we normally uh, go to her house in Manprobi, get there, or sometimes in the morning. By the time you realize she's done some special eggs, I don't know how she does it. And it's so nice with the tea, the way she does her tea. It's so rich. My friend and I, Ben, we were always enjoying her com company. One event that stands out very deeply for me, and I call this woman beyond everything she's, she was kind, loving, caring, gathering, sheltering, and beyond all this, one quality that stands out is that she's a person of integrity. She has a deep sense of spiritual integrity, who, what I'll call a savior type of consciousness. With my auntie, I always remember her with words like Afun, Afun. Just expresses her disagreement with whatever you are doing. And as I always say, she really makes me happy anytime I proclaim that the Lord is my shepherd and she responds in Ga. And I feel so good about that. A few me for a camo yemo home, ha mochi no mommy. The no comeni a few only in one naji. Rosmo ba ba money name you, honey. Rosmo, can you now, mammy? Care or tumble a was so below a nya feeble. She by be blown back like a morning coffee, a jena cany. Okay, honey, what's up? table, well, auntie is a very caring person, very reliable, and very loving. Auntie is reliable, supportive, loving, very caring. She's very good, very patient. He's always sincere. He's always smart and alert. And they have love for the job he's doing. Auntie loves smiling, laughing. She's always friendly. And also, she's somebody who likes to dress up like the young ones around her. She will match the young ones, always looking sharp and smart in her dressing. But loving extremely wise and consistent. Yeah, so my auntie was um, very kind, very loving and very prayerful. Yeah, very prayerful. One thing about my auntie is that, so we used to fight to sleep um, next by to next to her when we were um, kids. So it's either now they're gonna sleep by her, everyone will sleep by what's called her. I mean, we used to fight, fight or, who or gets yes. Sleep. So we used to go in um, ten. Sometimes she used to come to the house well Saturdays every weekend. And Wednesday. Yeah, Saturdays and then Wednesdays. Most of the time she'd sleep on a Saturday and then um, leave on a Sunday or on a Monday. So we used to like fight to sleep by um, her. And thing is that by three o'clock every time three a.m. my auntie's up praying. So yeah, she was very devoted to spirituality 
and she was very prayerful too as well and she's a storyteller too as well yeah yeah i remember a story she she told me when i was picked almost picked by a hen she always had like really interesting stories what and, i think it yes there was in your story i came home so scared cuz i mean i was all, almost picked by him and i thought she would reassure me and but instead she told me how hey what okay i may be a lambacho she boy okay what i think it was too hard i knew what what i think it was like she always had really interesting stories and i think that really played on our imagination for it and then also her loyalty she was always there ever so present ever so loyal and then she had this aura of serenity and peacefulness to her she was always so calm her voice her everything she was just so warm and calming yeah 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 mine she was um like i said very kind to her too as well every weekend she used to bring us both fruits and then generous um, she was very granuts. generous yeah we always look forward to either the both fruit or to the um granuts which is very and then when we went yeah. to the clinic she always gets us that was it fried rice across yeah the, the fried rice across the, the street yes yeah. true 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 and also she's a healer you if you forgot about her the medicine so the oh, medicine yes. the herbal medicine as we all know is very bitter but she used to do it in such a way that it becomes it so, so sweet, sweet except so for me so she me would over. yeah i could just still couldn't <laughs> take it <laughs> so whoever does it we never liked it but when she does it she add a uh, um, honey, honey to it and a lime yeah. to it especially 166 yes and she do it with so much yeah. passion and she has conviction that it works Yeah. And I mean she make it sound so intense and you want to drink it. <laughs> But for me I tasted it and it, it was still bitter. The only thing I, I was we, a very we tough like with the alpha life no idea. I will. No, idea. I, I, I no matter what she, if you the alpha life idea when you want. One thing I would always remember about my auntie aside her regular tea and bread was that every time she's giving her pocket money or someone gives her money in a few days she says it's finished and i didn't understand and we needed to investigate this thing so we went into the matter and we realized that my auntie was always um, sharing the money and sharing the money i meant that so whoever comes to her and tells her that she needed money or she you tell her you're hungry she's going to give out the money to you so she had so many of her nieces her nephews around her and i couldn't blame her cuz she's such a selfless person she's such a generous person and the advantage the disadvantage was that the as soon as you give her the any money she says is finished but then the positive side of this was that you can share or you can give to make the lives of whoever is with you better and she didn't really care whether her last money was 10 cds 20 cds no matter what she had she was going to give it out to make sure that those around her was happy so her caretakers were always happy her nieces and nephews around her were always happy because she would always give you would not go to her house without um with with coming back feeling um feeling like you needed something because if you ask her for anything and she does have it she's going to give it to you so that's one thing i really remember about her that she um that was how generous she was her really generous spirit So I remember her with her beautiful grey hair that she always go to the nearby salon anytime she comes to Sakaman to wash her hair. I remember her with her smiling face. I remember Manti when she dressed gorgeously. She proclaims shining for Jesus. Na koni make mahale jake. Nka yo be koni. Wo ba fe la surprise party, birthday party. Ndeni wo gbe no fin no na na ba ta shi ni aba ye ni e. E ke mene je mu ko mu ko mu ko fin ni. Rose mu ke ne te mi. Shi mo fe se mi e se ni. Ni nu pula ke je hin gbe ni. Nu ke la ke ne tears of joy. Ke je nu se ke na afo 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 mini tears of joy. 
I remember one occasion when we went to um, Kokobite. Those days we used to go on retreat. Is it retreat? Yes. And then we do exercises, the mystics. We do exercises while we were there. And then we were doing these exercises and uh, we were doing yoga. And Auntie can do the plow and everything. And then brother, one of the brothers said, Hey, you are not And then Auntie looked at me, you are not Auntie looked at me and said, I'm only 55. I'm a guy, you are not going to be able to do it. I know Auntie don't mind them, you are not old. So I remember that very well. I always remember her saying, God bless you. God bless you, Mr. Trudy. God bless you. When I was uh, staying with her, when auntie comes home very late, then she very late. She wants to, she will cook. I can buy whole very late. I can buy whole name. I can buy whole name. I can buy whole a jena ye mwui. Jena ye mwui. E woda ne, ka yo ke che amu ye mami. Ne e e banon, ke ma ke anti ba o ni bi ane. E ke ke imi e fwe ke ke o jena ye mwui. We ba o ni ye. She liked to dress very well and look good. And sometimes when she uh, appears or she's uh, looking very good. In Kelea Samla, Kea, a mini Christmas bellems, a anti Christmas bellems, a shining for Jesus. A hen, who need is more why anti Hiji or fair bonnie a be ni a be ni a ni ne a reni. Kellepo a beye pudenche. Keshe hikwe ewake. Ke tawni akpa no na fi o fen ke wake afun. Kunakba. Ewa ke bami naka no mufemu. Eke mufemu he jo twinjole eba. She used to crack jokes. Las eh, mupene. Fomo. Kafe. Afon. And the jokes, he always crack. She's physically, she, she's always strong, energetic, and always alert and smart. One of the hymns that Auntie likes singing, we made fun of her because she sings and then he mentioned the words so clearly, thinking that she has not gone to school, sings it so clearly in double agony. So, you know, between us, and some few people, when we meet her, we always say double agony. Another one is Christmas balance, shining for Jesus. Christmas balance, shining for Jesus. And if um, they don't have formal education, but she's somebody who loves education. And throughout her life, at least until she became sick, she's somebody who always you know, wants to go to school. Sorry. So she attended several uh, adult education. So you could see that uh, she's very intelligent, but did not have the opportunity to go to form to have formal education. But she's very good. She's very good. And then I like the way she loves the theory mission. The way she loves the medicine she prepares. The way she has conviction about the medicine she gives to people, the passion and the enthusiasm with which 
she administer the medicine to people was it was so sweet you you want to you want to know about the medicine you want to <laughs> have her faith the faith that she displays in the medicine and in the work of brother ishmael so beautiful oh, one act i do remember is how she always brought us snacks i think both fruit and plantain chips um, after every clinic session on a saturday she always had gifts she was always bringing something to the house um, something enjoyable most often than not okay so for me it's kati elipo for nyonga so there was this like when we are all worrying here we are tagging on her and she's tired she just stops and says hey kati elipo for nyonga ena nye nye so that was funny talking about nye 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 yeah. whenever we were hungry and then we are thinking of what food to go eat when we ask ask her it sounded annoying initially because homo yebo homo yebo den chenyu oyabi man tie ke man ting me na mi no bayi you tell that go na o bayi bela o bayi o bayi bela bela ji wo lo papa koko de ne bu mama takali ka wo pyoto tonto wa bongo shi shu 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 tonto wa bongo shi shu 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 which was very annoying because come on and the thing is when you ask her the second time the, 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 the first time is fine but then you ask her the second time she came from when yeah. when the agapians came to yeah. ghana and they wanted and to write they gave, me smobo and they would write mushmobo so it's something that we always when whenever we see her Mushumobo, man, you don't know who. Where get me? Mushumobo. Yeah. Ah, Mushumobo. He loved for tea. No matter what time it was, if she didn't have the tea for breakfast, she would definitely have it for lunch. And you will see her putting the bread in the tea and then taking the tea with so much gusto, so much glee, enjoying it. Even when it was so hot, there were times I used, it just used to baffle me because it would be so hot, you can see the droplets of sweat on her forehead as she sits under the fan, but she would still drink her tea and her bread, no matter what. One of the sayings that she normally liked saying was, my bread to say okoto, etomi tomoka which literally translated into English is, I am as tired as a crab. But uh, one would even wonder if a crab gets tired. But then whenever she is tired from doing any activity or from cooking or anything around the house, she just goes like, my breath is so koto. Then we all go after her, e tomi tomoka. And I would always remember her for that. Were there when this woman came and she said, Literally meaning that there's some negative energy in this uh, sister, the husband's brother's wife. And if this negativity doesn't go out of her, it will worry her. So she was worried about somebody who was having negative thoughts about her. And for that negative thought, it can worry the person. And what I love was, I will remove this negativity from the person. You know, most people will say, well, so, but she made it her spiritual duty. We were in the car chatting with the crab. When we came back to the house, he said, <laughs> I mean, what, what did you do? She said she prepared some of the eggs for this woman and called her to have breakfast. And the woman said, Oh, Julie. Hmm. 
And then she responded, Me And when the woman gave the story, she explained to the woman that that was not what happened at all. And the woman was relieved. You see, the, the gospel here is this. Somebody has something against you and you are committed to, I will remove the negativity from her. That was spiritual integrity to me. Mm -hmm. Very, very deep. Mm -hmm. I think it was some few weeks after when uh, we went to gather uh, waste, I mean plantain and banana waste for the crabs, sheep and goat in the house. He raised sheep and goats. And I saw her cooking by these big pots in the mental hospital, like a psychiatric hospital. These big pots with heavy fire and this beautiful, nice, sweet, smiling woman standing there by the fire. I said, no. This woman is too dear, too precious to be by such fire, you know, traditional way of cooking. And I invited her to join me at the clin clin clinic so that I can give her double her salary. She accepted it, and that's how we became closer. <laughs> Since then, she's not been just a person. She's been a family. Well, my last verse for Manti is to rise into her rings. Money is your can handle jacket. A lack of swamo. A near here. Nepalale. Kaya in my mum. Kaha and Mitchum on the tongue. The last word Ninka and tea, Jinka, Nan Wakale, Atto, a poco army. Nan Wadiente, as a forbidden could not fair fell a hale, the hellele, a wa wa a two. My last word, I just want to say, and think, thank you very much for me allowing me to meet you on this planet Earth. I'm so grateful that I met you while we are here. And now that you depart from this earth plane and think, rise into higher glory with our sisters and all the great masters of love. And your work on this planet will always be there as your legend. God bless you, Auntie. Auntie, my guardian angel, my sister, and my everything continue to be a light to the ignorant. God bless you. As she depart from this earth, with my love I give to her, my joy I give to her, my peace I give to her. In February 2020, I came to visit you and I told you about the death of Bradford. And you told me that you yourself, you're also going. You are following Bradford and I asked you why. You gave me so many reasons. For example, why you said, what are you sitting doing? I said, and I also told you the reason why you should stay with us. At the end of the day, you agreed and you told me that you've heard me. You are going to stay with us. I should take heart, you stay with us. And truly, you stayed with us for four years, Auntie Aiko. I thank you from the bottom of my heart that you promised and you kept your promise. God bless you. May the light of God lead you. May the love of God envelop you and take you to the bosom of God where you become the light to bless life. Amen. Thank you very much for all the guidance and love and joy you brought into my life. You forever remain in my heart. Adastra. Okay, so do we have last, 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 last? We can't words? have last we words. We can't have last words because she's our Mayansi, our mother, our queen, our everything. And so, for me, because of the personness that she lived by, she's always forever gonna live here. Her soul, her spirits never die. She's always here with us. And so, I wouldn't really have last words, but what I have to say to her is that I'm eternally grateful for the love, the care that she showed us while she was here. And I know that the day she was born, the angels rejoiced, they're still rejoicing, we're all rejoicing because a true legend has lived and is still living with us. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. We are grateful to my auntie and we know that my auntie, you're never gonna look back. We know that you're always gonna look 
forward. forward. You are forward <laughs> ever. You are marching onward. And um, the joyful, joyful. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa sad words <laughs> the triumph songs of life. My auntie I don't know. joined the chorus which the morning sun began. Amen. Amen. So, you know, my one thing is that my auntie, we used to call her my auntie to us. Well. She had my, auntie, auntie, my auntie, my auntie, my auntie, in my auntie. auntie. Yes, and every yes, time yes. we saw her, the song was that. Like, yes, my auntie. No, yeah. no, 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 yeah, yeah, we would we would miss that though, and I and I know a few people in the church too who are also. I mean, I know Express Clifford. That they've missed, yes, they've Clifford. Missed you feel like oh, but Manti, when when she come at least one squalo, no And then also <laughs> her silver hair for me here, luscious, beautiful silver hair, and it was even up until her last days, like her hair was full. She always had this really nice silver hair. And I mean, her varicose veins for me, I think it, was, it made her unique. She had this varicose veins on her legs, and that made her so unique. <laughs> I, I actually loved loved it. I loved all of it. We used to ask her what, what it what was. What it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we press it. We'll be pressing it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I just loved all of it. And she used to give us co kocha to chew. Yes, that one too. Kocha? Yeah. Get chewing stick. Oh, my and theory. Much more wound you. Much more wound Yeah. We love you so much. Finally, what I want to say to my dear my auntie is that your life has really been impactful. You have showed me the essence of being truly kind, being truly generous, being truly caring, being a great light to all around you. And I will forever hold these virtues in my heart. I am so glad that I met you in this lifetime and I pray that Father, Mother, God continues to guide you as you ascend into the higher planes of glory where the Father, Mother, God has appointed you to. I pray that you remain there and continue to be the light to all those around you just as you, you have been a light to us. I love you so much and I forever will, my auntie. We were both born under Virgo. So when I got to know she was, she was also a September Virgo born, I started to call her Sister Virg, my Virgo sister. My Virgo sister has now become Sister Virg. And most people now know her by Sister Virg. Mm. She has a charming smile, some charming winning smile. If I will live my life again and I'll have her in my life, I believe she will be, she'll be more than well, welcome. She was an angel while she was alive, so I don't think that she needs me to wish her anything good because her angelic spirit will just continue. She was an, an angel. It will take the devil to go to a new school to learn how to hate her. Because <laughs> she has that this endearing spirit that will make you want to love her and be with her. So Vec has a very welcoming presence. She makes you feel comfortable. A very good cook. From something very small, how she manages a dish, it, it comes out very tasty. And in the clinic, I could rest when I knew she was there. Her relationship with patients was very exceptional. When it comes to preparing some of the, the medicines, wow, well, some of the medicines have to be prepared in some spiritual, psychic way. You have to be praying while cooking the medicine. You can trust her. And some of the medicines have to be prepared at a certain time. You can trust you'll be there punctual and be there on time to cook the medicine at the right time. What made me to really elevate her spiritually with me? This sense of spiritual integrity that I saw endeared me to her and being a person who also likes, loves praying and uh, singing, I realized that her aura was very pure. 
and I invited her if she could allow me to use her as my medium. Very few people know this. Some of you know, I know. And when she agreed, and I put her into the spirit world, I mean, I was touched that this woman who had not gotten any formal education will receive information from me and be speaking impeccable English. When she had done, she can't speak any of the English she spoke. So she was a very clean transmitter. You know, in mediumship, the light is bright. But depending upon your color, your color can taint the, the, the light that is coming out. So it's like you're having a, a lantern and the light is in the middle. But if the shade of the lantern is red, you're going to get red color. She was very clear. So I could get clear information. And if the information has to come to me in, in English, she will speak impeccable English. It was with her transmission that I even decided that I will no longer even need to carry on with my mediumship. I recall once in the mediumship, then she said, our voice in your voice has become one. And then I was thinking something to say. And then she in mediumship said, you are thinking this to say. Then I gave myself an answer and then she said, you have answered you, you yourself saying this. I know my voice and the infinite has become one, but it was very nourishing to hear it from the mediumship speaking to me directly. I hope you will understand. So, in the formation of the inner circle, she was one of the first disciples with Daddy Crab and a few others training them to understand the world of, of spirit or else to download information and teach the, the, the world. So she was instantly trained to be in the Mesota cult with me. Mesota cult simply means mystics of the middle path. So there's nothing that we condemn or embrace. We are in the middle path of what is right because as far as life is concerned, nothing is a waste. We know how to use everything. We know how to use anger, hatred, as well as love and joy. Sudarsanaya. Oh,